You're doing great, Marn. These are so tight. Marn, so what are you doing? This is the tightest thing I've ever touched. Huh? What? What? We're what? Stuff. I don't know the technical terms of all that. What's up, guys? Welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to be working on Martin's LS. This is going to be one video, but two different days a week apart. Right now, we're upgrading his lifters for some big boy ones. And they're not rollers, right? They're just like generic ones. No, Explain no. them. All they are is upgrading the internals from a rollerized bearing. Because they have problems at higher RPM. And you want to rev this thing high, right? No, you won't, but it'll be fine. I'm gonna keep it safe. I rev mine high. His is, no. So you're saying he's a low bitch. Yes. We're going to say. No, 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 it's a stock bottom end. You can't rev them yeah, high or yeah. else it's going to blow. That's how you keep the power up. And so these have a rollerized bearing in them and you pretty much go with a. So you're upgrading bushing. the bearings inside. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Bronze bushing. How much are they? 150 bucks. So they're not bad for all like of it? That. Yeah. Then they just go like that and they ride and then oil gets pushed through there. We're also going to be throwing this transmission that Marin got back inside this car. So we're actually going to be making a lot of progress because we've had the drive shaft already made. Oh, it's, been sitting. <laughs> it's been sitting there for like, I would say six months. Well, since we got the kit, it came with the, yeah. uh, the oil pan kit. Yeah. yeah. LOJ. So we have this. We have an upgraded torque converter, which is very similar to the one in Jeremiah's it's Camaro. It's identical, it's identical, right? And how much can they handle? Like 2,000? No. No. <laughs> no. Come on, bro. It Come on. Hype, hype, hype it up over here, bro. Jesus. Those are needle bearings, huh? Yeah. So these, these are the things that like apart. to explode. Oh yeah, they do, huh? On like stock LSs, I've yeah. always seen that. They, like they blow up and then they come off. They blow up, they come up, and your motor's destroyed. I wanted to include this clip into the video because I wanted to show you guys a little bit more of what we do, especially when we're doing upgrades on the LS because we haven't been updating on what's been done. With this thing, most of the stuff is just regular cast. It's not forged, it's not been upgraded like Jeremiah's LS. But this is a nice upgrade and I wanted to include it so I guess we'll just be fast forwarding to next Sunday where we're gonna be putting in the transmission. All right, so we are finally back to day two, but it's been like about two weeks. Aside from all the wiring stuff, the only thing we're gonna be doing today is mounting up this ginormous transmission. What else is there to do? Nothing. That's it, just put that on. And then obviously we're using a kit for it, which is from... Not one place. Allo J, let's yeah. see if I got it right. Yeah, LOJ. How do you not remember, bro? This is your car. <laughs> We're gonna be using an LOJ swap kit. We obviously use their motor mounts and they actually worked out really well. Oh, what if we just like pull the motor out, put the trans in, and put it back in? That for the eighth time? No. Dude, it's so much easier. No, we've already done There's that There's space many there. Times. There's back. plenty of space. Right back. It's not a BMW. There's, you don't have to pull the whole. That's an Audi. What would happen, bro, if we swap it and then you race a VQ and you get gapped? You always want to blame me. <laughs> but guess what? That mm -hmm. scramble's always ready. Hey, I don't think it'll ever happen. Who's that? 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 Trying to get the trans in. Right, it's time to go in, right? Going rock. Let's go, go baby. Why are we using the impact? Because impact's just jerky. You like it jerky? Yeah. <laughs> so what issues are we running into right now? Um, the converter's a little off. Machining wise? Yeah. Which I mean, has that happened before to you? It has, but normally it's a decent amount off. Yeah. I think it's just the billet back half, something happened with it. And it, so the converter should ride in the rear of the crank. And it should be touching, huh? Yeah, and it's not. We're probably, we would have to probably take it out. Yeah, it's not that big a deal. So this is a stock for our lady bushing. This is going to be the conversion one. So we're starting to run into issues where we're setting up the trans mount, and the bracket that they supplied us isn't lining up. You need to move it back about like two to three inches to line up to these holes. And that's not happening. And we obviously can't move the motor forward because it's already maxed out. So we're gonna have to hit up LJ. Hopefully, you know, they'll send us the correct part if this one isn't. 
because this is for a 4L80, and obviously that doesn't change anything. We didn't change anything with the trans. Like no, the no, there's another adapter. There's another adapter. Where? It's a billet adapter that slides it back. Where's that? Oh, there's another piece. Yes. Hold on, we stand corrected. <laughs> Looking back at old videos, I recall that we actually were waiting for one, the drive shaft, and two, the tranny mount adapter. And that's exactly what came out of Martin's mouth. So I'm like, okay, we obviously have the drive shaft, they shipped it to us, but we never received the trans mount adapter. It's supposed I to be a billet back piece. Order, yeah, they're back ordered and it was supposed to be a billet piece, but that was like a year ago. So we hit them up right now. Hopefully they can give us a good answer. We can get that going so we put everything in. But right now, Jeremiah and Martin are going to be oh, test fitting shaft. the drive shaft from Drive Shaft Pro. It's a one piece, just like we had on the VQ. But this one's obviously going to be probably like a little bit shorter or longer. Longer, longer huh? Longer. Yeah, because this transmission is shorter. shorter. Than the it's just bigger, that. like beefier. It's massive. So, while they do that, check out this turbo blanket. This thing looks sick. And it definitely keeps temps lower. You can literally put your hand on it when it's running. But I don't recommend it. But it's starting to look cool. So he's going to test fit it. So they're going to test fit it. Hopefully everything fits. Mine is Dude, that like awesome. That. that is so long. Oh my god. That's why they said you have vibrations. Yeah, that is so long. Jesus. Gotta throw a static garage sticker on that drive shaft, bro. Bro, it's gonna go off balance. It's already off balance. Before the sticker <laughs> on theirs, I'll take their sticker off. I mean, I guess I would say today was kind of a success because we were able to bolt it up. We don't really have to modify the trans tunnel like we had to do on some other swaps. And we're obviously waiting for one here back from the torque converter guy. See if we, there's an adapter or he has to machine it properly or whatever the case may be. And the trans mount. But we're just gonna be leaving the car up in the air. It looks like we do have to get <laughs> some sort of adapter for that. But it's getting closer, bro. This is like the most progress we've made so on the car. So we need two things to get the trans done pretty much, right? Yeah. Not that much. One, both of them are gonna fall, it's free. You should have. They should be both free. Yeah, they should be both free. They should so be both hopefully free. LJ, you don't screw me. Yeah. For I respect you for everything fitting out. Everything else fitting pretty good. LG did a really good job. Like everything, the, when it comes to the motor, the oil pan, everything fit perfect. Remember that. Yeah, so if you are willing or needing to do like an LS swap, you get their kit. Yeah, LOJ works. It worked fine. We never had any issues. What? Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> Last video, I showed you guys the ref shift mounts but now they're on. I actually had to flip over the motor mount because I had it in the wrong position. So you're gonna have to see all this ugly non-chrome stuff, but from the front, still looks saucy. These rev shift mounts look super good with the whole engine build. Like everything is matching and that's the goal. You can see the other side, it's on as well. Everything's just a test fit for now, but damn dude, this thing's looking wild. It's probably like the sauciest engine build I've done so far. Other than the trans, we took off the intake manifold because Jeremiah needs to work on it. And he also put this gold tape right here, which is going to help keep some intake temps lower. So it's going to be real nice. It's also on the bottom of the manifold. Yeah. Kind of I'm sorry, the manifold. Two dollars. Brand new. Do Brand that. New. Dude, look at this tank, bro. Oof, look at that throttle body. So nice. But on that note, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, subscribe, and share. And we'll see you guys on the next one. No one ever really dies. T threw a rag in the sky. She threw it back from the side. I was just losing my mind. You right here telling me.